you know, it's just now starting to soak in because we came here with a job to do. And, uh, you know, we were not going to be satisfied unless we played our best. If we played our best, I think we all agreed we, whatever happens, happens. And we'll take that loss as long as we played our best. But we played our best. We knew our best was good enough if we took care of it. And that's exactly what these girls did. They, they knew that's the best game they played all year by far. And I wouldn't say they've been saving it, but we've been building towards it. And, you know, that's the way our practices are set up, the way our season is set up for them to be ready when the time comes. And it's exactly what happened today. They were ready when the time came, and they took advantage of what was put in front of them today and just ran with it. The only thing we asked for our team today coming out into the, um, into the game, we asked every single player to give it every single, like, every ounce of energy they had. And I honestly believe that even... Like, even though we had our rough moments at times, every ounce of energy out of every single player is enough to beat any team. Nothing, no one can take away your heart. You might be the most athletic kid out there, or the mo you might have the most talent out there, but if you don't give all of your heart, then someone who's less talented than you can easily take over the game. So, like she said, all we asked for was heart today, and, and that's what we left on the court is heart. Since we have eight seniors this year, I think we had a sense of urgency, and this is our last time that we could ever put this uniform on, and it meant a lot, and every ounce of heart we had to play for was this game, and that's what we've been building for four years now. I don't think we planned it that way. <laughs> I just wanted to give a crowd the... Yeah, we, we said we want to make sure they get their money. No, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, volleyball is such a game of momentum, and when you got two teams that are battling like that, you know, you're going to make aggressive mistakes. I don't think we made a passive mistake the entire match. I think we were aggressive all the way through. When we made mistakes, they were aggressive mistakes. And that's, you're going to have those kinds of plays in a game. Um, I don't know. I, I just know this team doesn't get rattled. I wasn't nervous. We're behind. I don't care. We're fine. Relax. Let's go out and make the next play. And, and that's exactly what they felt on the floor. That's what they're saying in timeouts. You know, just relax, make the next play, and let's see what happens down the stretch. So falling behind... Not a real big deal for us. I mean, the teams that we play during, like, regular season, we fall behind a lot, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's just back and forth the entire time, and I think we're used to it, so we don't, get, we don't get rattled. Like, yeah, they were up, I think, five points at one time during the fourth game. We just told the team, just come out here, play. We got this, just play, and the team did. And I know she's attached to Kelly's hip. <laughs> They're buddies. And, and uh, so Kelly provides a lot of leadership for Kaylee. Um, but then also Kaylee's got to do it on her own. She's got to decide that she's going to play on her own, and she's made a lot of big plays for us in a lot of big games this year, and, and I clearly think she had one of her best matches uh, today. And, and, you know, 16 kills. Um, how many digs did you have? I don't even have any idea. You had a lot. 22. 22, yeah. Um, Kaylee, what do you think, girl? I've kind of done it without the rest of my team, like with Chunk and everyone back there passing, and then Hallie sets, and that's <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also because we're mentally tough. Um, me and Kaylee both trained this season at Muncie at a volleyball club, and I know I can look at her and tell her, you know, hit a ball, or she can look at me and tell me to hit a ball, and we just we know what it means. We know that you got to terminate and put a ball away because that's what the team needs at that moment. We've also been a very good, consistent passing team throughout the year. Um, I, I just think uh, they tried to find weaknesses, and I, they even served Katie Hoing today, our middle, and she stuck them in the system every time. And she would pass the ball and just smile because she's a middle hitter, and she doesn't really pass too many. But, um, you know, I, I think it's just focus. We were able to keep our focus, and, and I never felt at one time these girls were rattled. Maybe a little bit in the first game on Thursday, they were a little nervous about being out there on that court, but I never felt them rattled at all in that environment. And when you can do that and you can slow your game down, slow your brain down a little bit, and just let your, your, what you've done thousands and thousands of times in practice take over, you're going to be successful. And I really think that had everything to do with our success is they were able to calm down on the floor. They were able to rethink things, take a deep breath, and move on to the next play, where I think maybe McComb got a little rattled from time to time because we would do something different. We would change a play down the stretch. And whoa, they didn't see that coming. And then they would look at each other like, what was that all about? Um, like we ran that two ball. Yep. Yeah. The blocker was already on the pin waiting for her, and we ran her in the middle. <coughs> just change it up just a little bit. And that's the confidence that they have in each other to do that because we've been doing that all year long. Well, the banana in the front row is in our grade, so he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's been with us forever. I've seen him at a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> he's there all the time. But I just, you can't beat Larmy's community support. I mean, when you come from a small town like this, 
everything means so much to the community and you know you're not going to disappoint them because they have your back through thick and thin and it's just to look up in that crowd I do that before every game I stay on that end line and just look up into the crowd it just makes me smile but they came out they took time out of their day to come and watch us and let's just put on a show for them our first scrimmage of the year we have a big six team scrimmage at our school and uh, I mean it's like two days into the season and uh, I mean there's fans that come watch if that tells you any idea what we got Toledo saying I think four of the six teams in the scrimmage are in the final four down here this year I mean that's just simply what we try to do and they understand that that you know coming into that they know coming to us that this is what they're going to get and it prepares everybody and so you know even in our scrimmage around district week three of the four teams were here in the state tournament in the final four so you know playing that level of competition it just gets you ready for what's coming we actually have trouble playing teams other than that we play good against good teams you know <laughs> At the beginning of the tournament run, we all kind of, the whole entire team, we were actually kind of worried because our tournament draw, like, it was hard. This was probably one of the hardest tournament draws we've ever had. We were all worried about it, but honestly, looking back at it, I think that was one of the reasons that we won state today is because we had a hard tournament, and we never had an easy game. We had to work at every single game we played, and we did. It helps us in games like today when it's back and forth, close games, because we've lost four or five games this season, and then from every loss we've learned something different, and it's very important to learn from those games incredibly. And when there's a tight game, we show, and whenever we got behind, it wasn't really a problem because we've been experiencing that before.